Welcome to the cell processing facility at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, CPF for short. CPF is part of the Hutch's Therapeutic Products Program. We are a GMP manufacturing department that executes process operations in the production of modified cellular products for patients participating in cell therapy-based clinical trials. Our GMP manufacturing facility is located in the basement, E level, of the Thomas Building. Manufacturing support areas are adjacent on the same floor. Our tour begins in the gowning area. This area allows personnel to change from street clothes into clean room scrubs. Gowning is executed per standard operating procedure. The gowning area has three changing rooms, lockers for guests and employees to store clothing, and a hand washing station. Employees wash hands before and after donning scrubs prior to entering the manufacturing facility. Only a few paces from our gowning area, operators enter the facility entry airlock and proceed through three areas until they are fully gowned in clean room PPE. In the third area, we have our largest pass-through, which allows for the passage of released materials directly from our material storage area into the manufacturing facility, including items from our cold room. Per procedure, each item is individually wrapped and wiped down with 70% ethanol prior to being passed into the facility. After passing through the entry airlock, we enter into the central corridor from which the rest of the facility can be accessed. A digital display lists daily events. Local audible alarms are present to ensure proper pressurization of each manufacturing suite. The hallway contains three 4 degrees Celsius refrigerators as well as two minus 20 degrees Celsius freezers. All critical pieces of equipment are connected to an ISEN6 monitoring system. Temperature and CO2 levels are continuously monitored with alarm responses 24-7. Multiple cages in the hallway allow for storage of ambient materials. Two automated cell counting stations are present, as well as a manual account station and two inverted microscopes, one of which with photo and video capture capabilities. Each of the four manufacturing suites contain two biosafety cabinets, a tabletop centrifuge, and one floor model centrifuge. Suites also contain multiple incubators, up to eight per suite. Subject material is incubated separately in a campaign dedicated incubator. Every suite has access to a three kilogram scale, tubing welder, and a heat sealer. DE534 is host to our Sony FX500 cell sorter, Lovo automated cell process system, Clinimax Prodigy, and Azuri W25 cell expansion system. DE532 has two Clinimax Plus instruments for cell selection, a scale, tubing welder, heat sealer, as well as a plasma extractor, all of which are used primarily for enrichments and depletions. In addition to the previously mentioned features of all our production suites, DE540 contains a secondary small pass-through, which allows for the exchange of materials between the processing suite and the support laboratory space in DE580. A mobile shelving unit houses supplies for reagent aliquoting and media formulation. It should be noted that the biosafety cabinets in DE540 are Class B BSCs, with external vents to outside. This type of BSC is important for working with chemically hazardous material. The exit airlock has a storage cage for cleaning supplies and a built-in floor sink to support facility sanitization. The facility is cleaned by a contracted GMP-trained sanitization provider. In the airlock, operators degown per procedure and exit the facility. This concludes our tour of the GMP manufacturing facility. Next, we'll provide a brief overview of some of the support areas located nearby. To the right of the exit airlock, we have our support laboratory, DE580. This lab is connected to the facility by two pass-throughs. Water baths in DE580 are available to thaw materials and reagents, which are then passed into the facility. DE580 is a multi-purpose space, shared by manufacturing, QC, QA, and GMP materials personnel. Multiple refrigerators and freezers allow for separate storage of quarantined and temperature-sensitive materials. Incoming products are received by materials and subsequently released with QA oversight. 
Conveniently next door to DE580 is a separate room for quarantine and management of ambient materials. Across the hall from DE580 is our controlled access cryopreservation and cryo storage room, DE552. Inside, there are two cryomed controlled rate freezers, which are capable of rapidly cooling cellular material in a variety of configurations. The room also houses two large liquid nitrogen freezers, one for storage of clinical products and the other for non-clinical samples. Both units are continuously monitored via our Isensix monitoring system, as well as Fred Hutch Facilities Engineering InSight monitoring system. Adjacent to DE552 is our process development group. The PD lab contains similar equipment to the processing suites inside the facility, as well as novel technologies for oncoming protocols that are being actively developed. Across the hallway from our facility entrance is the Quality Control Laboratory. The QC division runs several assays on the therapeutic products that are manufactured in CPF. Briefly, tests conducted examine product purity and potency, including tests focused on sterility, endotoxin, and mycoplasma. QC performs multicolor flow cytometric analysis using a dedicated max quant instrument and Flojo software. Quality Assurance provides critical support and oversight of CPF manufacturing and product testing operations in compliance with FDA regulations. QA manages multiple quality systems that ensure safety, reproducibility, and traceability of CPF activities. Next to the entry airlock, we have our GMP Materials Storeroom. DE312 stores materials that have been released for passage into the facility and also features our largest pass-through. Also within this room is DE314, a 4 degrees Celsius walk-in cold room, where media and other components are stored. A quarantine cage exists to store large quantities of temperature-sensitive materials. Thank you for joining us today on our virtual visit of the CPF facility and support areas. Please reach out to us with any questions that you may have.